Vladimir Sergeyevich Solovyov Russian, Vladimir Sarjevich Solovyov January 28 OS. January 16, 1853 August 13 OS. July 31, 1900 was a Russian philosopher, theologian, poet, pamphleteer, and literary critic. He played a significant role in the development of Russian philosophy and poetry at the end of the 19th century and in the spiritual renaissance of the early 20th century. Life and work The son of the historian Sergei Mikhailovich Solovyov and the brother of historical novelist Sevalid Solovyov he was born in Moscow. His mother Polizina Vladimirovna belonged to a Polish origin family and had, among her ancestors, the thinker Gregory Skavoroda .In his teens, Solovyov renounced Eastern Orthodoxy for nihilism, but later, his disapproval of positivism saw him begin to express views that were in line with those of the Orthodox Church. Solovyov studied at the University of Moscow, and his philosophy professor was Pamphil Yurkovich. In his The Crisis of Western Philosophy, Against the Positivists, Solovyov discredited the positivists' rejection of Aristotle's essentialism, or philosophical realism. In Against the Postivists, he took the position of intuitive noetic comprehension, or insight. He saw consciousness as integral see the Russian term Sobornost and requiring both phenomenon validated by Dianonia and noumenon validated intuitively. Positivism, according to Solovyov, validates only the phenomenon of an object, denying the intuitive reality that people experience as part of their consciousness. As Solovyov's basic philosophy rests on the idea that the essence of an object see essentialism can be validated only by intuition and that consciousness as a single organic whole is done in part by reason or logic but in completeness by non-dualist intuition. Solovyov was partially attempting to reconcile the dualism subject -object found in German idealism. Vladimir Solovyov became a friend and confidant of Fyodor Dostoevsky 1821-1881. In opposition to his friend, Solovyov was sympathetic to the Roman Catholic Church. He favored the healing of the schism ecumenism, Sobornost, between the Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches. It is clear from Solovyov's work that he accepted papal primacy over the Universal Church, but there is not enough evidence, at this time, to support the claim that he ever officially embraced Roman Catholicism. As an active member of society for the promotion of culture among the Jews of Russia he spoke Hebrew and struggled to reconcile Judaism and Christianity. Politically he got renowned as the leading defender of Jewish civil rights in Tsarist Russia in the 1880s. Solovyov also advocated for his cause internationally and published a letter in London Times pleading for international support for his struggle. The Jewish Encyclopedia describes him as a friend of the Jews and states that even on his death bed he is said to have prayed for the Jewish people." Solovyov's attempts to chart a course of civilization's progress toward an East-West Christian ecumenicism developed an increasing bias against Asian cultures which he initially studied with great interest. He dismissed the Buddhist concept of nirvana as a pessimistic nihilistic nothingness, which was antithetical to salvation, no better than Gnostic dualism. Solovyov spent his final years obsessed with fear of the yellow peril, warning that soon the Asian peoples, especially the Chinese, would invade and destroy Russia. Solovyov further elaborated in his apocalyptic short story, Tale of the Antichrist, published in the Nedelian newspaper on 27 February 1900, where China and Japan join forces to conquer Russia. His 1894 poem Pan Mongolism, whose opening lines serve as epigraph to the story, was widely seen as predicting the coming Russo-Japanese War. Solovyov never married or had children, but he pursued idealized relationships as immortalized in his spiritual love poetry, including with two women named Sophia. He rebuffed the advances of mystic Anna Schmidt, who claimed to be his divine partner. Influence It is widely held that Solovyov was one of the sources for Dostoevsky's characters Alyosha Karamazov and Ivan Karamazov in The Brothers Karamazov. Solovyov's influence can also be seen in the writings of the symbolist and neo-idealist writers of the later Russian Soviet era. His book The Meaning of Love can be seen as one of the philosophical sources of Leo Tolstoy's The Kreutzer Sonata 1889. 
It was also the work in which he introduced the concept of syzygy, to denote close union. He influenced the religious philosophy of Nikolai Berdave, Sergei Bulgakov, Pavel Florensky, Nikolai Lasky, Semyon Frank, brothers Sergei Nikolaevich Trubetskoy and Evgeny Nikolaevich Trubetskoy, the ideas of Rudolf Steiner, and the poetry and theory of Russian symbolists Andrei Belyi, Alexander Bloch, Solovyov's nephew, and others. Hans Urs von Balthasar explores his work as one example of seven lay styles, which reveal the glory of God's revelation, in Volume 3 of The Glory of the Lord pp. 279-352. Sophiology <inaudible> 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 Solovyov compiled a philosophy based on Hellenistic philosophy see Plato, Aristotle and Plotinus an early Christian tradition with Buddhism and Hebrew Kabbalistic elements Philo of Alexandria. He also studied Gnosticism and the works of the Gnostic Valentinus. His religious philosophy was syncretic and fused philosophical elements of various religious traditions with Orthodox Christianity and his own experience of Sophia. Solovyov described his encounters with the entity Sophia in his works, such as Three Encounters and Lectures on Godmanhood. His fusion was driven by the desire to reconcile and or unite with Orthodox Christianity the various traditions by the Russian Slavophiles concept of Sobornost. His Russian religious philosophy had a very strong impact on the Russian symbolist art movements of his time. His teachings on Sophia, conceived as the merciful unifying feminine wisdom of God comparable to the Hebrew Shekinah or various goddess traditions, have been deemed a heresy by Russian Orthodox Church outside Russia and as unsound and unorthodox by the Patriarchate of Moscow. <laughs> Sobornost Solovyov sought to create a philosophy that could through his system of logic or reason reconcile all bodies of knowledge or disciplines of thought, and fuse all conflicting concepts into a single system. The central component of this complete philosophic reconciliation was the Russian Slavophile concept of Sobornost organic or spontaneous order through integration, which is related to the Russian word for Catholic. Solovyov sought to find and validate common ground, or where conflicts found common ground, and, by focusing on this common ground, to establish absolute unity and or integral fusion of opposing ideas and or peoples. <laughs> Death Solovyov died at the Moscow estate of Nikolai Petrovich Trubetskoy, where a relative of the latter, Sergei Nikolaevich Trubetskoy, was living. Solovyov was apparently a homeless pauper in 1900. He left his brother, Mikhail Sergeevich, and several colleagues to defend and promote his intellectual legacy. He is buried at Novodovichy Convent. Quotes <laughs> 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 But if the faith communicated by the Church to Christian humanity is a living faith, and if the grace of the sacraments is an effectual grace, the resultant union of the divine and the human cannot be limited to the special domain of religion, but must extend to all man's common relationships and must regenerate and transform his social and political life. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 The Burning Bush, Writings on Jews and Judaism, compiled 2016 by Lindisfarne Books, ISBN 0-940262-73-8 ISBN 978-0-940262-73-7 The Crisis of Western Philosophy, Against the Postivists, 1874. Reprinted 1996 by Lindisfarne Books, ISBN 0-940262-73-8 ISBN 978-0-940262-73-7 The Philosophical Principles of Integral Knowledge 1877. The Critique of Abstract Principles 1877-80 Lectures on Divine Humanity 1877-91 the Russian Idea, 1888. Translation published in 2015 by CreateSpace Independent Publishing Platform, ISBN 1508510075 ISBN 978-1508-1075-7 Anti-Christ Story of Antichrist Reprinted 2012 by Cassock Bros.
Publishing Co., ISBN 1475136836. ISBN 978-1475136838 The Justification of the Good, 1918. Reprinted 2010 by Cosimo Classics, ISBN 1-61640-281-4 ISBN 978-1-61640-281-5 the Meaning of Love. Reprinted 1985 by Lindisfarne Books, ISBN 0-89281-068-8 ISBN 978-0-89281-068-0 War, Progress, and the End of History, Three Conversations, including a short story of the Antichrist. Reprinted 1990 by Lindisfarne Books, ISBN 0-940262-35-5 ISBN 978-0-940262-35-5 Russia and the Universal Church, 1. Reprinted 1948 by G. Bless. Abridged Version, The Russian Church and the Papacy, 2002, Catholic Answers, ISBN 1-888992-29-8 ISBN 978-1-888992-29-8 See also Apophatic Theology Mikhail Epstein Leo Mikhailovich Lopatin Vladimir Lasky Phronesis Topic References Topic Footnotes Topic Works cited Topic Further reading Topic External links Works by or about Vladimir Solovyov at Internet Archive Works by Vladimir Solovyov at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Vladimir Solovyov Entry on Solovyov at Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy http colon slash slash www.orthodoxphotos.com slash reading slash n slash antichrist dot shtml Alexander II and His Times, A Narrative History of Russia in the Age of Alexander II, Tolstoy, and Dostoevsky Several Chapters on Solovyov http colon slash slash www.utm.edu slash research slash yep slash s slash solovyov dot htm http colon slash slash www.christendom-awake.org slash pages slash soloviev slash soloviev dot html http colon slash slash www.christendom-awake.org slash pages slash soloviev slash biffy dot html address by cardinal giacomo biffy http colon slash slash www.britannica.com slash eb slash article dash nine oh six eight six two nine slash vladimir dash sergeyevich dash solovyov http colon slash slash www.valley.net slash tilde transnet slash salsic html tale of the antichrist at the wayback machine archived january 12 2006 excerpt from three conversations by solovyov civil society and national religion problems of church state and society in the philosophy of vladimir solovev 1853 to 1900 research project at center for russian humanities studies radboud university at nijmegen http colon slash slash org slash neckplus dot htm english translations of five poems including eight of 18 acrostics from the cycle sappho English translations of two poems by Babette Deutsch and Avram Yarmolinsky, 1921. The Positive Unity, How Solovyov's Ethics Can Contribute to Constructing a Working Model for Business Ethics in Modern Russia. By Andre V. Shuren.